Hello guys, welcome to another jQuery video tutorial and in this video we will learn how to uh, use the dialog uh, widget okay, and the jQuery uh, UI like this one that I have here okay so you can uh, go to this page and see for yourself how this works and all the options you have and all that okay um, so let's just uh, jump uh, straight away to Notepad++ and as always I have my uh, HTML file ready so uh, and all the the links to the jQuery.js um, and jQuery.css here custom okay so let's just um, straight away create in the body section um, let's just create in the body section a div ID and let's call this the dialog and let's close the div let's save and between the script tags we will create now or before that sorry before that we have to create an input here input type equals to a button and a value equals click and an ID equals to click okay so now we have a button and whenever we click that button we uh, will show the dialog box um, in this div okay so now uh, we have to jump straight away to the jQuery uh, code so let's type document dot ready parenthesis function parenthesis curly braces and semicolon now in here we want to grab the di dialog um, ID dot and now we will create an attribute for um, the dialog ID in here in the div and we can create any attributes we want for it okay um, remember this is going to be the box that um, we will uh, pop up okay uh, pretty much like an alert box but a little bit different you'll see um, straight away so first let's create a title an attribute title and uh, in here um, we will create whatever we want to appear in the dialog box as a text so let's type this is the dialog box or whatever okay so let's start sorry uh, I'm uh, instead of text this second option is going to be save you'll see what it is in a minute just type saved now uh, type dot text and here is where we want to put uh, a, a little bit of text so this is the dialog box now we type dot and uh, dialog and parenthesis okay let's save this and let's run this in Chrome and um, okay let's refresh uh, okay so we have here the dialog box um, already because I forgot Uh, by default the dialog box appears because I forgot to mention here the button 
so let's type save uh, or click sorry the button ID is click dot and here we type click function parenthesis curly braces and let's take these out and put them in here so curly braces parenthesis and close that let's save it and now whenever we click the click ID which is this one here the dialogs will pop up hopefully so let's run this in Chrome Du, 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 du. run this in Chrome perfect when I click it there it is okay so as you see saved is the title of the dialog box okay the title is the word saved and then we have the text box uh, or the text for the box is this is the dialog box okay so you can see you can change those attributes to whatever you want okay now in here inside the dialog uh we have we can create some uh some other options so in here i'm going to type inside a parenthesis i'm going to type um the curly braces and type buttons colon and curly braces again let's push this a little bit to the downside here and um, now you can type here um, a button that is going to be called OK and what this button is going to do is call a function that we will create And this function, what I want this function to do is grab this box, oops, grab this dialog box, dialog, and close it. Okay, whenever we click the OK button, we can create more buttons, but First, let me just show you this example. So when I click OK, click, there it is. The button, okay, and if I click, it goes away. Okay, uh, we can create more buttons, for example, uh, in here. We can create comma, and we can create now um, OK, and uh, let's type return and here we had to type function again and another curly braces and in here let's type this dot dialog or instead of this let's type alert um, returned Okay, let's see if that works. Save. Yeah, it should work. Let's refresh. When I click, no, it's not working. Something is wrong. Okay, it's not working because this is not supposed to be in here. So let's copy. And after the OK button, this is where it's supposed to be. So paste it there. Let's only leave one comma. And this we have to take this out of here. Save it. Refresh. And when we click, there it is. We have OK. We go out. And if we click Return, we have something, um, a little pop up message alert box saying Return. Okay, so you can put as many buttons as you want, each uh, of them having a single function for it. Okay, so for now I'm just going to leave the OK. So let's save this. 
I'm going to show you another few options you can use. So in here, now is where we have to type in here, uh, after a comma, we type close on escape and make sure you have your uh, O and E, O for on, E for escape and capital letters, colon, true. Save that. And what this does is basically when you pop up the box, uh, if you click your escape button in your uh, keyboard, you will it'll, will escape the dialog box. Okay, you can either click OK, you can either click here, or you can either escape it from um, clicking on your escape button on the keyboard, like this. Okay. Um, so you can choose leave this in or you can uh, uh, take that out if you want to. Another option you can use is the draggable uh, false because as you can see we can drag the box by default in the whole page. See? If I don't want this to happen, leave it in the center we have to type the draggable false and now the user won't be able to drag the box around so let's refresh this when I click I can't drag it anymore okay so another let's see another option which is the resizable option resizable false which basically, um, as you can see, we can resize the box. And what this does, it's uh, it will not um, it is it's it is going not to be it will not be possible for the user to resize it like this. Okay. So let's save it, refresh, and I click here. And there it is. Okay, we cannot resize it anymore. Okay, so let's go to another option, which is show. This is an animation you can use, and I normally use the fade. You can put here whatever you want: bounce, toggle, whatever, whatever animation you want. I'm going to use um, the fade option. Show colon fade refresh and you'll see when I click the pop-up uh, box uh, fades in okay click perfect okay so now um, a new option you can use as well is uh, the model um, and I'm pretty sure that a lot of you guys um, saw some sites when you click uh, a, fo a form or something like that or dialog um, sorry a uh, login uh, button um, a login form appears or a register form appears in a dialog box and the whole page is now in black or has a shadow that um, makes it uh, it's not possible to click any uh, uh, or use the web page itself until we complete that uh, form or box. So to do that, what we have to do is type this word modal and set to true. Okay, you'll see now that if we refresh, when I click, there it is. Okay. We cannot use the page until we uh, are done with this box. Either we can click OK or this um, button here. OK. Perfect. OK. So this is how uh, we do it. Uh, another option you have um, is the position. So to 
where do you want the um, dialog box to appear to the user by default. By default I it's set to the center but we can use um, I think it's uh, top uh, bottom let's try the bottom first so let's refresh and when I click there it is at the bottom by default appears at the bottom okay top obviously will appear at the top left will appear at the left right will appear at the right center will appear at the center center is the by default the position of the box okay of the dialog box so another thing you can do use in here is set um, with coordinates 100 and 100 this means 100 from top and 100 from left 100 pixels okay so you can set with these coordinates the position uh, anywhere in your web page so let's see uh, this working refresh when I click here there it is 100 from top 100 from left okay and you can set it whatever you want okay guys so this is how we can work with a uh, cool dialog box and you can put it in your web page this application pretty cool and this is it um, don't forget you can change you can either use uh, images or whatever you want in your dialog box okay using the attribute first and give attributes to your uh, div okay so uh, that's it guys, see you in the next video, bye.